What's up fam? Darkstep here and today we have a fantastic project to work on. But first I want to apologize for taking so long between videos and talk about the direction for this channel for a moment. Now I haven't been super happy with how my videos have been turning out so I want to make a change. And as with most things in life, if you are not happy with it, you should certainly focus on creating a new solution. So, what does this change mean? It means we are going to be stopping producing content on Twitch and solely focusing on our YouTube content. Now, I've noticed that I'm trying to do content for both platforms and it wears me out. Uh, I am new to this scene and I need to remember that. So, this means I've created videos that they don't really pop like I want them to and I create projects that are just way too big for my for my level uh, for right now and so what we're gonna do is we're gonna be restarting a brand new Minecraft series with much more attainable goals as far as this series is concerned house flippers I'm fairly happy with the videos so I will be making minor tweaks here and there but I will not be restarting this series so I really appreciate your patience during this changeover as video production has virtually stopped but you'll be happy to know we are gonna get back into it now that we have a plan so without any further ado let's start flipping some houses so now that we have some more money under our belt we're back up to five hundred and thirty thousand dollars i want to do a project that's a little bit bigger so i want to do one today with the uncle's bunker so this one here uh, as you can see it's not too bad oh that one's not good uh that's certainly very filthy so the inside is much filthier than the outside on this one um, but let's do this one here. I, I really wanted to do a bunker for a while, so that's what we're going to do. Now, as far as I know, what you put into the house in these bunker videos doesn't actually matter. They only actually take into account the bunker. So, we of course will be redoing the inside of the house, that's no problem at all, but we won't be doing it quite as much as we will the bunker. So. Let's take a look and see what we got here. We got a tree in the front yard, a lot of weeds and uh, a lot of weeds. <laughs> so this certainly is going to have to be cleaned. And let's go inside the house here. Ooh, oh, look at this. Oh, that's disgusting. Oh, oh, windows have to be cleaned. We got cockroaches. Things are just, oh, this is disgusting. Uh, that's the downstairs, not going there yet. You telling me somebody really slept in this? Like, oh, that's disgusting. Ooh, like missing part of the wall here. Oh, this is so gross, so gross. And what's this bathroom? Ooh, that's gross. Get out, get out. <laughs> and that's outside. The cleanest place of this place is outside. And this is the kitchen. That's. Oh man, a lot of work to do here. Let's go down to the basement. Oh, this is a space. Let's uh, sell this so that we can get into our shelter here. Okay. I mean, the shelter looks cleaner than the upstairs. Uh, ooh, ooh. That's not a color you want to see in a bathroom. Ugh. Okay. Uh, we can work with this. We can work with this. So, you know the drill by now, folks. I am going to get this place cleaned up and cleared out, and we will be right back at you. Well, isn't this a beautiful sight to look at here? The grass has all been cut. The molehills are all gone. The weeds are removed. And it is looking fantastic. Inside, decided to go with gray walls all throughout this place here. Looking very gray. <laughs> and for the floor, went with a white herringbone. Um, it's not the best, not the worst, but I'm, I'm kind of keeping this to a story here, right? 
So these guys here, you know, they're, they're preppers, they're bunker havers. They're not going to be having the most colorful stuff. I obviously haven't done this yet. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so I think keeping it gray and uh, white and stuff like that, that's going to be the best choice for us here. So I think what makes sense is to do the upstairs first. So that's where we're going to start. And probably like always, we're going to start doing the bathroom. Let's do it. Ta-da! We did the bathroom. Here it is. Very, very simple, like our preppers would want. Just got your basic shower, your your toilet, your towel rack, and just your little sink area over here. So, uh, all in all, very simple, but uh, I think it does a trick. So, well, hey, don't do that to me. Next thing we're going to do will be the bedroom. And here's the result. Lots of storage for this dude here. We got uh, some storage right behind the door. A uh, nice big wardrobe here. Made a little closet as well. Put all your stuff in there. Put some storage here. I had to go with the bed that actually had space for storage because this guy's going to use it. Absolutely. Put a little uh, bedside table here in front of the bed. Got a nice little light uh, just above the bed there if you need it. And you can watch TV right from the bed. More storage, of course and a rug initially i wasn't going to put a rug in here but come on no one wants to get out of bed first thing in the morning and put their feet on that oh so cold so this is where we are my dudes let's move on to the next room which i think we're going to do a nice little kitchen right in here i can't believe i've done this oh man i forgot to put in lights i forgot to put in blinds Oh man, I'm losing it. So that's what we've done. All the rooms here. Uh, haven't done that one yet. That's going to be the living room. Kitchen is done. I put in a ton of shelves. So again, these guys are hoarders, right? They're going to keep everything. And just a basic kitchen set up here. And a sink and a fridge. That, my friends, is about as far as we've gotten. I will update you further when we get this done. And here we go. We have completed the living room. Pretty basic. Like I said, I didn't want to do too much on the upstairs of the house here. I want to focus on a lot of the bunker. Yeah, just a little uh, TV here with a couch, a uh, little place to set drinks or what have you there. Little plant in the corner with a fireplace. And a nice little ceiling fan to keep you cooler on those hot days. So yes, we are done with that now. Next thing we are going to have to work on is this beautiful bunker down here. And, oh, I'm going the wrong way. Oh, there we go. <laughs> so, without any further ado, let's get started. Alright, my dudes we have made a little storage room here so got a working fan so if uh, we need some fresh air vented in or we need some smell vented out perfect behind here we just got a little bit more storage pretty nifty all of our stuff here some of it is in boxes some of it is just labeled emergency food first aid kit uh, these here, some pickles, uh, soup, rice, bunch of random meat, definitely need that toilet paper. And then we've got a bunch of water up top here. And then over here we've got our safety section for when we have to go outside. Gas mask, protection, we got some boots, some shovels, and hats. And some uh, gas containers here, so we are definitely ready to go when this apocalypse happens. And the next thing we're going to work on is this kitchen. And abracadabra, here we go. So we've got a nice little place here to do our cooking and prep and whatever else. We've got tons of storage going on up here. Another working vent, an oven, a stove, a sink, and a fridge. 
And over here we've got a little eating area. It's not very conventional, but basically you can just pull up a stool. And I can't do that because that thing is there, but whatever. Uh, but basically you pull up a stool and there's your little eating area. So it's nice enough to the side and it's using the space that we have the best we can. Nice little uh, vent here again for the uh, water in case of a flood. Uh, throughout the whole bunker we're going to be using these bunker lights, so don't be surprised when you keep seeing them. We've got even more stock over here, so we are going to be good to go for a long, long time. And these little barrels here, you can use your imagination because I don't know what's in them. <laughs> so, we have this much space to work with for our um, washroom. Let's see what we can do. Wow! Looking sharp! looking sharp i mean this is a very very basic bathroom it's it's got your essentials and that's about it actually there's one thing i did forget about and you cannot forget about this my friends you need toilet paper for the toilet <laughs> there we go um yeah like i said i wanted to leave the down here with this kind of cementy look um it just has that kind of used bunker look so huh, didn't know you could see that through the floor um yeah this is kind of what i'm going for and so far i am loving it and now we have to work on this last room let's get into it all right time to do our final walkthrough of the day this is the kitchen. You've seen it before. You've seen it again. Here you go. Boom. Living room. Very fancy. Nice and plain. Let's go. Bedroom. Ooh. Looking like a treat to be in here. Bathroom. This is a bathroom. <laughs> and then we've got our downstairs. Our beautifully, beautifully stocked storehouse here. Got everything you could possibly need. Then we've got our kitchen. Again, beautifully stocked. Got everything we need. Got some more storage. Got our little eating place. Good to go. Bathroom. Very tiny bathroom, but it does the job. And this is the bedroom. Two basic beds, a washer and a dryer. And that's about all we got room for in here. So, I did a little bit of work out here as well. As you can see, we've got some trees growing here. Uh, these are pear, these are apple trees. We've got some uh, pumpkins growing here. And raspberries uh, up in here, strawberries here. These are all carrots. And then these are plum trees. So I figured this is kind of like our little sanctuary to keep us safe from whatever it is out there. So we've got a little double door here to keep anything out unless we want to let them in. And then on the other side it is fully gated off so there is no getting in here at all. Now I debated closing this off entirely but at the end of the day I want to still be able to use this until the apocalypse happens. So. I figure we'll just leave this open here. But yeah, this is what we got. What did you think? Please leave your thoughts down in the comment in the comment section. And let's sell this place and see what we are worth. Absolutely do the garden contest. Uh, what do you do for crops? Yeah, let's see. Ooh, ooh, that's huge. All right, 32% increase. I will not complain about that one bit. Let's put it up for auction. So, our house price was 185,000, renovation cost was 2,000, and furniture bought was 24,000. So, adding that all up together brings us to about 210,000. Uh, between the house sale and the furniture sold, we made approximately 300000 So, with our extra product, uh, profit from the garden competition, we made 93000 more. 
meaning our grand total profit is $183,655.71. I am very, very happy with that. So let's accept the offer. Let's see some screenshots here. Okay. Okay. Eh. That's beautiful. I like that. Not much you can do with washrooms. I'll give you that. That's not a very good picture either. Ooh, fantastic. <laughs> Well, that's going to be about all we have time for today, folks. If you did like that video, please remember to hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe. We'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.